everybody, today we will be watching Piggy. Piggy infected, and also I'm into reading, not watching. Anyways, this was created by Terence Crawford and the Scholastic Piggy. Anyways, yeah. An original novel, yeah. and uh, by Terence Crawford and the uh, Donna Widowson. <laughs> Chapter one, page one. There had once been an island called a Lu Lucella for past the Dover port. And somewhere south of the North Sea, its outer edges were, were sprinkled with long beaches and stretches of pictures of pigeons picturesque mountains that led to a salting of dense forests. The breeze of the North Sea meant there was often a chill in the air. It wouldn't have been out of place to see the residents of island of the island bundled up in jack bundled up in jackets or scarves on their way to the metro station but that was then that before that was before the infection if there were stars in the sky above the city of lucella this evening you c you could not see them. A dense mist hung over the island, blanketing the entire city in the thick layer of fog. So wind tore through the trees, making a distinctive howling sound and causing Ben to pull his hoodie tighter around his shoulders. He considered calling it a night, then it, and there. there. These last couple of weeks, he'd had his fill of jump scars to anyone else. The house in front of him was just like any other on the block street. Lovell's picket fence, a closely manicured lawn to Ben. This was his best friend's ha house, and this is the last place Holly had been seen. Ben wondered if it was too late to turn back and to go home. It wasn't as, as if there was much waiting for him there, either. He had lost track of his own a family a while back. He hoped that they had made it off the island before it had locked down. There were dozens of safe place, safe spaces across the island, and Ben was confined, 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 confined that the grown-ups could take care of themselves, but Ollie. Ben was all Ollie. Ben was all Ollie had a Ben had. Ben felt a rush of chills go down his spine, completely unrelated to the strange weather they were having. It seemed as like just a few weeks ago. Everything I had been so normal, and now, well. Now's this, now's this.
Banda shook his head, clearing the spookier of his thoughts and stealing himself for the task at hand. The aging brown wood of a picket fence creaked eerily as Ben pushed his friend's gate open, walking purposefully towards, towards the front door. He had made his journey a su- thousand times before. Why did it seem so sinister tonight? Ben trap trape said up the front steps, reaching out to knock gingerly on the mahogany front door, which loomed much long larger than he seemed to remember his knuckles wrapped on the wood. The sound seeming to echo across the empty street. The hairs on the back of Ben's neck st- stood stood on end. He had gotten used to making used to making as little noise as he could. Ollie Ben c- cried out in a, a half whisper not wanting to attract any unwanted infected attention and not sure himself if he wasn't if he was expecting an answer it's ben again this was silly he had known ollie since they were both in diapers. No, one's seen you with everything that's that's going on. I'm worried about you. No response, Ben. Jiggled the handle of the door in vain, but it was firmly locked. Firmly locked. He couldn't blame Ollie's family is the more he heard about the infected citizens of Lucilia, the more Ben wanted to lock his doors and hide the two. And if that was what they wanted to, to do, they were more than welcome to as soon as Ben made sure that Ollie was safe, he he cupped his hands and called his friend's name again. No response. Ben sighed in resi- resign- resignation. Resignation. This marked the beginning and the end of his ideas. Surely, if Ben could get inside, he could find some trace of Ollie, some clues as to where his friends had disappeared to. Of course, the front door wasn't the only way to get inside the house. Ollie's house had always had the biggest windows in the neighborhood, and Ben was certain he had seen a good-sized rock on his way over there.